Hey everybody, how are you? In today's edit, you and I are going to see what happened to Ariel's family after The Little Mermaid 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. Can you hear, can you hear, can you hear my voice? Coming through, coming through, coming through the noise. I'm floating through outer space. I'm lost and I can't find a way. Oh, all the lights going dark and my hopes destroyed. Help me. Again, did you know that the crab Sebastian was originally supposed to be British? His name wasn't even Sebastian. At first Disney planned to call him Clarence and he was a stuffy British butler. Yeah I know, it's a bit weird. But once all the music was written, Clarence was changed to the Jamaican Sebastian. Many people say that Ariel is Danish because the original story The Little Mermaid or Den Lille Haufru as it's originally called is from Denmark. But if you take a look at the fish around Atlantica, they are so exotic they don't exist near Denmark. Actually they don't even exist in Northern Europe. So I personally think that Atlantica is actually on the other side of the world, in the Caribbean Sea. And for that location, a Jamaican crab fits in perfectly. Oh, another fun fact, and this is mind-blowing. In the Little Mermaid movie, there are over 1 million hand-drawn bubbles. Disney actually had to hire a Chinese studio to help them just with the bubbles alone. Because the amount of work was so crazy. You don't 
two daughters. Several years have passed since the fight against Morgana and the Little Mermaid 2. Ariel is using the trident to give Melody and her sibling Mermaid Tail so they can visit Atlantica together. What do you think Ariel and Eric's youngest daughter should be called? And if her grandfather King Trident gave her the same choice as he gave Melody to have legs or fins, what do you think she would choose? Please comment below. I hope you have an amazing day. See you in the next video.